Because it means the sun is peeking through those clouds and we might actually see this thing here coming up shortly. I'm, I got Bob with me right now. Bob, you're 14. I went, do you mind turning around real quick? I want to show you the back of the shirt. The last time a solar eclipse came through the United States was in 2017 and you were there. You're from South Carolina. I know you said your mom over here, your mom's a big space fan and you kind of just tag along. But what do you remember about that solar eclipse in 2017? You were, you were seven years old. Was it, what was it like to see that? Uh, I saw like like the sun came out and then it went dark for a little bit. Are you are you excited to be here at this one? Yeah. Was it was it uh, was it something when your mom decided to come? You you were looking for it. How did you feel about that? I don't remember that much, but I remember I saw it. We like had food and stuff. We watched it. Are you? I know the sun's peeking out right now. Are are you worried at all that these clouds are gonna are block our block our view? Or are you? been crossing your fingers and you're optimistic I think the clouds are good I think I'll see it you think you'll see it you might you might be one of the youngest people to have seen two total solar eclipses that's that's pretty remarkable and you know that this isn't gonna happen in North Texas again for like 300 years so this is history right here does that mean something yep all right well thanks for being here Bob thanks for talking to me hope you enjoy the solar eclipse and you can go back to South Carolina and tell all your friends about it. I appreciate right. it. Guys, the sun keeps coming and it keeps going. Hopefully, we, at Totality 140, <laughs> hopefully it'll be out. It's looking much better than this morning. I can tell you that. You can't just see the sun on me. You can see the sun on you guys way over there.